Well, it is time for another Sunday Live here with myself, Daryl Ledger, along with Simon Hogman. How are you doing, Simon? Hey, Daryl. Yes, I'm, I'm very well. I'm good. We, we've obviously been having a little bit of a laughter before uh, just joining because we have a bit of a, a kind of a dangerous situation here, don't we, with uh, with your setup? So we've this, it may just be me doing the show tonight, if you want to yeah, share, battery, share where we are. Some, somehow my uh, charger um, was plugged in, but it's not charging the battery. So I'm at 11% battery. Uh, we've been sitting here talking, not like paying attention to my laptop battery, but uh, we'll see what happens. We might, we might get uh, three or four minutes of value out of Daryl before the thing <laughs> stops, but it's maybe two, two, three minutes more than normal. I don't know. <laughs> you, you, you're right. We got a little background change. Uh, it looks like uh, we got yes. a lot of VAs working in the background. Um, I've got my team. I got my team here. I'm down, you yeah. know, about uh, over 100 people now in the background, just just working away, helping I the, see. You know, the, the well, empire you'll see hills, you know. You'll see some people walking around the office here on a Sunday, which is really un unusual, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you for being here for a Sunday live. Uh, we have uh, some very cool things to talk to you about today. And uh, as, as usual, we talk about domains, SEO, uh, mass page, lead generation, affiliate marketing, and all of those kinds of things um, pretty much here on a weekly basis here on your Sunday uh, at five o'clock Eastern time. So I thank you for being here and being a part of this uh, conversation uh, that we're having today. And uh, yeah, so... Um, I've got a few shout outs yeah. to, to do here. We've got some people joining already. So CX3P, good to see you. Let's uh, do this. And uh, our friend Don is with us as well. Obviously got other people watching too. So it's great to see everyone. So if you have any questions whilst we're going through, please ask that. We'll try and make the show as interactive as possible, as well as sharing some things that we're, uh, Daryl and I, both working on and, and ideas and stuff about, as I say, mass page domains, SEO, and anything else you want to talk about. So that's all uh, all good. Yeah, we missed uh, everyone uh, last weekend. It was obviously Easter Sunday, so we um, took a break. So uh, hopefully everyone's uh, got some questions stored up and more things to talk about today. It was nice to take a little break. How about you? Mm. It was nice to actually take a little Sunday and just like uh, you were talking about how you were like using it to kind of retrain yourself in a few things and like play around. And yes. I think sometimes we have to get <laughs> in the sandbox, you know. I think sometimes we have to just take a few days once in a while and just sort of play around especially with mass page and with SEO is to kind of see what's working here today. Um, hi, Colin. Hi, hey, Colin. Uh, yeah. There's Steven yeah, as well. Steve. Thank you. Yeah. Guys, I had a bit of a training weekend, a kind of what I call a leisure SEO kind of weekend. Yeah. So I still do lots of stuff working on computers and experiment with things, but without any kind of client uh, um, view as well. So like Daryl's gone off now. So that is probably, uh, are you no, just, I'm uh, back. I just had to turn <laughs> on the, my uh, light. The batteries went there. Let's so see. I'm up to twelve percent. We're in good shape. Oh wow, <laughs> easy, easy. So yeah, yeah. as uh, El Couch, uh, good day, Daryl, Simon, and everyone else. That's that's great. Um, Olive, howdy, Olive, if you're there too, that's great. And then there's uh, Magical Marcel. <laughs> good to see you, and Angela Frost too. Hello, Angela. Good to see you. Uh, to yeah, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know that um, the. Um, <clears throat> uh, um, I'm sorry, the LinkedIn would come through. That's the first time, Angelina, that we've seen a LinkedIn come through. So I know Angelina from the Wisdom app. So, oh, brilliant. Oh, uh, okay. It's nice to see her on here. She'll, she'll get to see some of the things we talk about here on this uh, this platform as well. So it's really you've, cool. got an, you've got another side, haven't you, Daryl, that you've not yeah. shared everyone. So this is like one side yeah. of you, and they've got the other side as well, yeah? Well, I, I mess around with different apps. Um, because of working in radio for as many years as I, I did, um, I also work with like the Clubhouse app, as I've talked about here yeah. uh, with Clubhouse. Uh, I work with uh, the Fireside app, which uh, is uh, out there. And um, it's, you know, it's called social audio. Basically, it's the new social media kind of moved towards straight into audio. Um, and, you know, we have some interesting conversations on there. And uh, so I, I frequent on the Wisdom app and I uh, help in that app and its growth a little bit so um it's it's always fun to be involved in different things and that's a really cool project that i'm i'm pretty involved in so yeah 
and I'm actually um, I'm doing some TikTok coaching training. Tell me about that. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't know. I don't think I'm ready to share everything uh, just okay. yet. Okay. I, I will. I will get into it. But um, yeah, a TikTok just from my point of view is just super hot as a platform at the moment. It's obviously completely video based, and uh -huh. it's one of the few places from a social media point of view you can still get a lot of organic traffic very quickly. So I'm posting a few videos and practicing a few things out, and I'm getting five, six hundred views and some likes and this and that. So I'm still playing around with it. I'm still uh, following a bit of a, a coaching program and, and learning about it. It's um, um, probably I won't use it to promote this. Probably it'll be something else. But yeah, watch the space. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm I'm learning about it. And um, I uh, I've said before I don't necessarily like coming on front of video and doing this sort of stuff. I, I prefer to normally to stay in the background. So this is one thing. But TikTok's a whole new level of just putting out these sort of short videos and snippets and trying to be interesting, and engaging in a very short period of time. So uh, yeah, watch the space. I might might uh, share some more about my TikTok journey soon but that's a whole thing and yeah if you if you're interested in promoting your business whilst it has been dancing and uh, you know other types of um, <laughs> adult things being promoted on that for uh, a while now people are genuinely starting to use it to promote businesses so i'm seeing people with promoting mortgages and financial services as crypto there's a you know a website design some seos there's there's things so yeah check out tiktok it's uh, it's very hot at the moment if you if you're into that sort of thing you now kids are all tuning out they're like okay time to find a new platform uh, yeah. uncle simon's on here yeah. <laughs> so. that is it isn't it that that is 100 it like it's like when facebook die like that my kids yeah. like no one's gonna go on yeah, facebook they just Instagram, like, you know? oh i just heard them talk about dad just killed SEO it the show with some two old yeah. dudes it's, it's like when uh, dad starts wearing the, the, the same brand of trainers as you it's like you know it's you know it's over so simon yeah. talking about tiktok on sunday it's live is the death is the death knell <laughs> it's peaked getting to something it's else peaked. <laughs> sell 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 yeah oh uh, well uh, Awesome. Don saying so, it's uh, a, a, a time suck. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely addictive. I think once you follow a few things that you like, it uh, yeah, you can you can be watching it for ages. So anyway, watch the space. Well, you know, it's funny because um, you know if you look at Instagram Reels, I don't know if you're familiar with Instagram mm -hmm. Reels, but it's the same kind of thing. Is um, they're all kind of following the same footsteps as Vine and Twitter. Um, when you shorten the content, right? It mm -hmm. just makes it all these bite-sized pieces like, you know, even YouTube does it with mm -hmm. shorts and everybody is vying <clears> for <throat> that little 60 second clip. Uh, of That's why we're still doing a 60 minute show, Daryl. <laughs> yes. We should make it 60 seconds <laughs> and be done it with it. Yeah. 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 Or, so, or, yeah. so yeah, yeah. So definitely it's uh really, really cool that you're doing that. And when you figure that out, will you get back to me and let me know how this all works? Cause I don't know how to make it happen with TikTok. Maybe, maybe, yet. maybe. might be too embarrassing. I don't know, but I'll, 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 <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know how it goes. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. So uh, today we're talking about a few different things. Um, so Simon's going to talk a little bit about services pages and uh, city pages and how they kind of work together uh, with, within a mass page structure. So I think that's going to be a very valuable part of the uh, show. And then, you know, um, we'll figure out what I'm going to talk about by the time we get there. So <laughs> <laughs> it's always the same way, Daryl. Let's, let's yeah. be honest, you know, so uh, we'll see what goals we can come up with during the course of the, the show. That's Yeah. Uh, while you're talking, I'll figure great. out the rest of my part. Well, look, um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, compared to you, I'm, I'm a relative newcomer to uh, mass page building, but I mean, you're, you're like the grandfather of mass page. You, you like to tell me that anyway, that, uh, you've been kind of in this for 20 or more years so hopefully we talk about some of the, the stuff i'm going to talk about you can uh, provide some perspectives that would be very helpful i will try definitely i you know what i did is i forgot to send out the email before because we were so uh frantic oh, yeah. uh, <clears throat> trying to figure things out so i'm sending that out while we're talking right now so we'll uh, yeah. get this out to as people long as, so. as long as your battery stays on so look yeah, shall i good. just put my <laughs> yeah. slides up and then we can have yeah a quick, sure uh, let's do that chat here okay hold yeah. on a second hold on a second Right. Turn off can, the uh, brand. Can you see the slides? Uh, yes. Local mass page structure. Yep. So just a, this is just a few thoughts, and mm -hmm. I, I guess with the, uh, the there's never uh, one definitely right way to do it because we all take our view on what's the right structure right. and the right approach and different people are going to have different strategies and you may have some thoughts on this as well but I guess the sort of general question is what's the best way to structure a local mass page site and I'm going to use an example that's specifically magic page plugin but obviously you could be talking about um, mass website builder you could be talking about other other um, platforms as well but 
It's just a, a few thoughts on on structure, and I've written this uh, spider's web here. Um, mm -hmm. I, I like uh, uh, sites that have strong interlinking. I think Google does as well, obviously, and uh, just some thoughts on the best way to interlink those together. So, <clears throat> some if we look, at, I'm going to show you an example, but if we look at um, a mass page site using Magic Page plugins, so it's obviously a WordPress site. Um, there's a number of different kind of in opportunities you've got for. Um, linking now, um, everyone knows this, but I'm just going to just say it just for completeness. Obviously, 20 or so years ago when Google started, uh, it started as a as an indexer, uh, an index of of pages. It uses technology to crawl different websites. When it found a link to another site, it went there or another page, and it built up um, a pattern of, of of sites. So this kind of idea of a crawling or or a kind of spider's web is very much part of part of Google and part of how Google finds different sites, and um, one of the benefits of having a strong interlinking structure is it makes it easier for Google to um, find the site and, and, and crawl the site, but also helps Google to understand which are the most important pages because of the links that are pointed to that those pages. And obviously, we always want to, I mean, everyone knows this, but we always want to avoid a situation where there are pages that are uh, called orphans or orphaned pages where there's no links going to them. So if you're looking at Magic Page Plugin, one of the challenges you've got with mass page building is to make sure that stuff gets found easily and stays indexed. And if you don't have a good linking structure or things are not, not linked at all, then the things can easily fall out of the index. So um, so we'll, go, we'll do an example, but I'll just so, show some of the things that I'd be looking at in a, in a typical site. So um, MPP, the people that make Magic Page Plugin, always recommend build a regular site first. So have a, have a regular site, you know, if you're a plumber, electrician, locksmith, photographer, whatever you're doing, um, build a, a regular structured site and then add in the plugin as a, as a locate uh, to build out your location pages and then we'll target different locations. Now, they also recommend <clears throat> having around about 200 location pages, partly because of the um, technical uh, um, res restrictions because it's a dynamic page. You need to have a lot of RAM to be able to serve the pages dynamically. I understand, although I'm not a techie. And also, you don't want to build too many pages too quickly because you need to build up some authority and traffic. So Google is seeing these pages as natural for a local, a local site, not something that's got 10,000 pages in an afternoon, which just might look a little bit suspicious. So there's a couple of things. Um, MPP has a very nice auto-linking uh, um, short code, which is cities, but you can also do cities. I think it's dash five. can't remember the, the, the format, but you can specify the number of cities it shows, or you can show all your cities or five, 10, whatever. And that's quite a nice thing to build in page. And I'll show, show you how I've done that. And then obviously, if you're building out, if you've already built out a regular site, you've got your service pages, and you, you can then structure the site in a way that it points um, the power, the link power, to certain pages to make them show as, as more important. So things like using footer links, using links in the navigation menu, and also links on your service pages and location pages, you can point them to each other to, again, focus the uh, the links. So I'm going to show an example. But Daryl, you, do you have any perspectives on this? So I've done my kind of rundown there. Have you got any thoughts on uh, linking structure just at this point, or do you want to well, come in later on? Yeah, I think that kind of when it comes to um, anything, when you deal with mass page, I'm always thinking of how is it that you can build a silo. And for anybody that doesn't know what a silo is, it's like sort of from the home page to get down to, let's say, the smallest city page. You have to go through a few different things to kind of get there from a sitemap perspective. And so... Um, what I try to do is um, break things into a hierarchy of three different levels of uh, cities. And I use the, uh, the power of the city pages uh, it's fundamentally to boost up the pages that are really, really hard to, to get to rank, which are the bigger either media market cities or larger cities, right? Yeah. And, and to find a way to to leverage those city pages as almost like little mini home pages, mm -hmm. um, to to sort of power up those pages that are harder to get to. So, mm -hmm. um, a lot of times it's, it's it's a lot about you know how is it that you don't overdo your links to certain pages without sort of making this hierarchy structure. So mm -hmm. uh, when I consult cl corporate clients about mass page, I, I talk to them about this idea of how is it that you can build a silo uh, inside a mass magic page plugin or into mm -hmm. you know, whatever um, mass page builder you're using. Um, how do you build up 
that hierarchy and mm -hmm. uh, use those city pages as sort of your buffer um, to, to, I, I wouldn't want to say buffer. It's very transmit, mm. trans, <clears throat> you know, uh, transparent what you're oh, doing. Yeah. Um, but you, you're leveraging the power that you build up inside this, the service pages. Yeah. I think you definitely want to focus on some of those. I mean, you can have 200 location pages. And I think you're absolutely right. You don't want them to be seen equally. There's mm -hmm. going to be a number of cities, you know, four or five cities, 10 cities maybe that you want to focus on. I mean, obviously from Magic Page Plugin, you're typically building something within a X miles radius. So it could be 30 miles, 50 miles or whatever. You, you're wanting to get to around about 200 locations. You want to set them to a reasonable population size. I normally use 10,000, which are in the UK. That's uh, what I think is a good number. Um, but you don't want every village and hamlet and small one because you're potentially building pages that are not going to get um, used ever. I mean, a lot. some of these pages mm -hmm. are definitely going to be low volume, but I don't think you want to have something that in, in three years, it's it, they're never being visited. So it's definitely good to have a, a certain number. But 200, MPP recommend 200. I think it's a good, a good number. So let, let's have a quick look at this uh, site here. Can you still see the screen? Yeah. Yes, TV drones. Yes, yeah, so this is a drone um, photographer, drone services provider. I, I work with them as a client. I've helped them build this um, site. Now, I'm not a website designer, so you're not there to assess the, the web design, but it just, uh, is, I thought it was a good example to um, talk about the, the structure of the pages. So what I've done here is, um, Tamworth is where they're based. It's um, not a massive city, but it's uh, this is a brand new domain, and we're looking to start off with a central location. So Tamworth is the uh, the immediate area. Now, there's four niches uh, or four sort of subservices that the uh, operator provides, drone photography, aerial photography, roof inspections, and site surveys. And this actual page is, is actually a magic page. So it's basically, I've just diverted the um, page to, uh, the home page to the, the central location. And it was just a quick way to get a home page. Um, with a little bit more development, you perhaps could build out a, uh, a regular home page that was actually talking about maybe um, aerial photography in the East Midlands or in England or the UK or something, make it a, a level up. But this is just to, to get a start. And this is the, the home page here. Um, we've got here, if you're familiar with Magic Page Plugin, you'll see it's got the automated cities here. So these are the nearest ones that are to Tamworth. So that's it. And you'll also notice we've got the locations uh, changed at certain uh, 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 headings and, and in some of the text. And we'll also see that the, the four niches that I said earlier on are linked to from the homepage. So obviously, that's where I want to send uh, some of the power. And these are gen general... Uh, aerial photographer, aerial videographer pages, so a general service page. So we'll look at those in a second. But this is very much like if you had a, a regular website without mass page built in, <clears throat> these are the ones you'd normally see. So if you're a plumber, there'd be, you know, emergency plumbing or locksmiths or whatever you had. So this is kind of standard. There's nothing unusual about this. Um, uh, and there we go. We always like to put a, a video in uh, if we can. Um, we always like to put uh, a map in, which obviously Magic Page Plugin supports. We've got some more links uh, here. And uh, what I like to do, and I'm just going to check the amount of content we've got on this. We've got uh, 1,600 words, so you know, reasonable number for a local page. Um, we've got some <clears throat> some articles built in here as well, so a little bit of extra content about. Uh, you know, uh, how much does it cost in Tamworth? Now, obviously, it's not unique to Tamworth because on the other page, it's going to say how much does aerial photography cost in Nottingham or Leicester, but it's just a little bit of extra content. This site's only a few months old. It started to uh, index on a small number of, uh, <clears throat> sorry, it's indexed, but it's starting to rank on a small number of keywords. This guy, uh, the client's already got some leads in, so he's happy with the progress so far, which obviously I'm happy with. And uh, so, so this is the this is the home page. We've got some social links in there. And... And here are the service pages. That's my dog in the background barking. I'll have to ignore him. Um, mm -hmm. So what we'd have normally, a portfolio. This is like a, a gallery. It's got some images in here. So uh, this should... I, uh, I hope the dog in the background doesn't disturb all your workers behind you. No, they'll they they they're fine. They get they've got headphones in. They just uh, they just keep working. They're pretty good. <laughs> okay. So so this is not an SEO page, just just images page. So this could be anything. Uh, so where like. are those images hosted, by the way? Like. Uh, they are those cloud? Are those somewhere? No, these are these are on my VPS. So that's oh that's okay, yeah. So, oh yeah. interesting. Okay, uh, not an image fly yet, but you know who yes. knows? 
<laughs> yeah. Um, so here's a service page. So it's this one's not location based. This is just a general service page. Um, I have what I've done here. This sort of, sort of talks about starting to link to the um, key location pages. So <clears throat> I'll just finish looking at this. So this is standard stuff, you know, stuff about drones. Um, and uh, I'll just do you know, this one's a little bit more developed. So this is like about roof inspection. So I've done some work on this. So this talks about the areas that they work in. This talks about the specific cities that we or towns rather that we actually want to rank on. Uh, there's a bit of sort of Q and A kind of stuff here. Just scroll in. There you go. So you know, there's 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 content here, and this is a, a service page. And I've I've got more links in here to again the, the other the other service pages, some of the other locations, but. But these ones here are the ones that I'm really wanting to focus a, a large number of links on because these are my kind of cornerstone locations. So if we look at locations now, obviously, <clears throat> I've got about 200 locations loaded into this site, but uh, these are the ones I want to rank. So, so if I put a link in the menu, the nav bar in the menu, that's telling Google and telling people that these are the key the key pages. So if a client's looking at this, they're going to know very quickly that they, they service these locations. And then when you get into here, I mean, obviously, this is magic page, so it's it's literally just what I've shown you. So, uh, just like the home page, you've got this uh, here as well. Uh, obviously, using magic page plugins, auto linking. These are all different to the home page and different depending on which location you're on. Uh, I do spin these descriptions a bit, <clears throat> so these uh, end up being slightly different, and I, and I spin some of the stuff in the accordions too. But I, I don't do. A lot of spinning, and I think the guys at uh, MPP also don't don't recommend massive amount of spinning on on these magic pages. And I've found that you can rank them. There's obviously duplicate content here, but uh, provided there's a little bit of variety, and you've got the map and everything else, they seem to perform uh, well. So these are getting picked up, and um, so yeah. So there's there's your location page. Now I I have actually done quite a lot of links here. Now this is where my my diverge from what you've uh, suggested, Daryl, because <laughs> I put all of the links to all of the pages and I hide them in the accordion, and that's my approach on the kind of spiders web. So that hides in the bottom, but the links at the top are um, on the service pages. Focus on these. So so these pages all focus to these four services. And mm -hmm. these four services all focus to the top pages. And that's that mm -hmm. kind of um, How many total focus. cities? You said about 200? About 200, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. I think, doable for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have a reviews page. I use um, Elf Site to add some reviews. So it's quite nice. Um, Love just, that. Yeah. yeah. And that just puts in the reviews. So glad that. I got the lifetime deal on Elf Site. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. So I'm <laughs> kicking myself on that one. That's a great deal. And and the nice thing about this is it actually adds in a uh, review schema as well. Now, it's, it's product mm -hmm. reviews, not service reviews, but it seems to be fine. I, I'm not aware of Google penalizing people yet on it for schema, but um, it's probably not quite in line with terms and conditions. But it's certainly, when you look at the search results, it'll pop, it encourages you to pop the stars on the on the SERP. So that's quite a nice feature from having review schema. And it's automated, so we always like automated. Um, I've done a bit of a blog, um, which I don't always do for, hold on, my elf site's not letting me, there we go. Uh, I've done a bit of a blog uh, with a few posts in here, look, um, you know, a bit of why should you hire a photographer, an aerial photographer, why things save a bit of money, just for a bit of content. A lot of local pages, sites don't have blogs, so you can take it or leave it. There's an about page and a, and a contact. So there's no kind of, you know, there's no kind of rocket science here. There's nothing kind of particularly weird going on. It's just that people often ask how, you know, often you'd not have this location, or these would be built out manually, but this is how obviously things are working in the background. But the key point is I'm linking from these pages to these key pages and back, and there's a lot of automated links in the in the background uh, below that. But that's my kind of here's how I, here's how to me a, 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 a mass page magic page plugin could work easily with a site. You might just need to add on that. You've probably got these other things already in place. Yeah. Awesome. So that was my run through. I don't know if people got any questions about that or Daryl, if you've got any any thoughts, but that's that's how I've laid out here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, no questions from my end. Um, uh, that's a, I think a really good, uh, you know, demonstration of what you can do. I like the idea of the 200 city pages with mm. the five um, 
uh, services pages back mm -hmm. to your like five premium um, yeah. locations. I think this will rank quite nicely for those to, you know, mm. areas, those five areas. Um, on your homepage, what are you ranking to or, or linking to as far as uh, cities go? Is that just based on the most local? To I've, the... I've started it with the most local, yeah. So I've started mm -hmm. on here. I mean, obviously, these pages were being built out over time. So I, mm -hmm. I started with Tamworth because that's where the Jeep, um, the Google business profile is based. These mm -hmm. are the nearest cities as chosen by um, a Magic Page plugin. And I've just built it out. There. This is like a brand new domain. We've not really done a much uh, link building. Yeah, so a little technique like that. that I do is I like to spread out the cities. So I hand code mm -hmm. those, the cities. Yeah. Um, so let's say I'm covering New York State. I might have mm -hmm. like one for Bob Buffalo, one for Albany, one for Syracuse, mm -hmm. one for um, Plattsburgh. So they're all yeah. spaced out. And then what happens is, is then the way the site gets crawled, it'll start to pull in those little towns and then that'll mm -hmm. kind of marinate the juice up to your, yeah. you know, your services pages, then, then to your main pages. So um, just, I think it's nice to kind of spread out, especially with Magic Page yeah. plugin, because it is relevant based on locale, location. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's a good point. I mean, this is the, the home page is basically the Magic Page for mm -hmm. the central location. Uh, I think, as I said earlier on, I think if with a bit more time you could make this into a wet East Midlands, which is the area that mm -hmm. covers these other cities, and so sort of East and probably develop a. a, a not a magic page as the home page, just have a regular home page, and then you'd have a bit more flexibility. So uh, you would also have that. You'd also cover the different um, locations just with a bit more of a, a spread. So yeah, then that would be that would be a good thing to look at. Okay. Um. So Jorge says, uh, "What's up? What's Thank up, you, Jorge? Jorge? Yeah, good to see you. How you doing?" Um, JC Fernandez says, uh, "How is the site ranking at the moment? Um, is that uh, is that a brand new site?" Yeah, so this is like three months yeah. old. I mean, it's, yeah. it's yeah. you know, 10 keywords. It's it's small at the moment, but I know that yeah. the client has had leads uh, through mm -hmm. and he's pleased with the way it's going. So uh, as I said, we've, we've done two blogs, the Magic Page plugin. We've not done any citations apart from, you know, Google Business and maybe Yell. And we've not done any backlink building over and above um, some intently mm -hmm. links from a directory. So, so that's where we are at the moment. It's, it's uh, that we're on a budget, so this is this is what we've got. But um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's getting picked up, and I'm pretty happy with it so far. But uh, but early days, you know, it's it's a few months off a brand new domain uh, with a business that doesn't have a location, you know. So yeah, awesome. Um, okay, cool. I don't see any other uh, comments that have come in uh, from that conversation um there are some good nuggets uh between what we both said there uh if you're building mass page websites to, to to consider and to think about um with that so um let's see so anyway uh thank you guys for being here spending some of your sunday with us and i uh guess it's 5 30 uh eastern time we do this at five o'clock every sunday uh, I sent out an email yesterday because I'm trying to get my ducks in a row with regard to partners and affiliates uh, for the mass page tools and the things that will be launching very soon. Uh, my goal is by June 15th to have everything like really buttoned up into a package that, you know, uh, will be, you know, able to be promoted all over the web and things like that. It'll be really, um, you know, I have all the uh, other things buttoned up. So a lot of what we have, yes, is experimental and beta and, you know, sometimes more refined, sometimes less refined. Uh, but we're getting there. We're bringing all the pieces and parts together. A lot of people are very excited about the Mass Website Builder, which is the cloud mass page building platform. Uh, the way we're going to bring in uh, ImageFly into that, that, that we've been working on that. Um, that's why we've moved ImageFly up to get that uh, finished up really quickly. Um, so uh, we haven't finished up the homepage for CSV Wizard. There's more stuff that needs to be done with that. But Geoholics is pretty good, ready to go. Leads Detective is good to go. The Magic Forum is great. Um, and we're going to continue to like integrate the Magic Forum into all of these other tools so that it'll be very familiar once you get into the ecosystem, you'll be able to see all of the stuff. You have all the stuff on the left side. You'll be able to click on it, log in um, if you have the plan. 
and be able to use it. So um, there's a lot of moving parts to bring all these different platforms together into one single uh, silo. Um, but I did want to talk a little bit about the idea of uh, reaching out. Um, if you would like to, um, you know, sell the affiliate, you know, the affiliate uh, link out to people and uh, sort of uh, promote it, um, it's about 15% recurring revenue that you can make. So uh, because it is a, a high ticket product, uh, you you could make a, some really decent money on that if you have an audience and you can get it out to people. So if you're interested in being an affiliate, first off, definitely reach out to me. Uh, let me know. I'm getting a little list together and we'll, we'll start to build out these mini pages. Um, so you'll have like mass.page slash, you know, let's say Don or something like that. And then he can just send people to that page and it'll get them uh, his affiliate link when, uh, when they purchase. So Daryl, is, is this for, is this for particular products or all your products just to clarify? Just to yeah. Clarify so yeah. all of, yeah, for right now, it'll be for the magic form mass page, uh, mass website builder, siphon AI image fly, uh, CSV wizard, geoholics and leads detective, uh, were developed by another developer. So I have to get the code, um, to work with the overall, uh, ecosystem. So, uh, that might take a little bit longer, but my goal is by June 15th to have them all in the same sign on. So we'll be able to, uh, we have a, a single sign-on so that'll that'll help because we'll be able to manage all of the uh what people have purchased and um and do that and then what that allows us to do by having a single sign-on and have all these different accounts is it allows us to bring in another uh way to get involved with mass page tools and that's as a as a partner um i talked about it as like a reseller but i think i like the word as a partner and better um, and so I'm looking and exploring ways in which, uh, if you're interested in becoming a partner, you could make much more than 15%, um, each month. Um, but because you, you will have, you know, um, uh, like a reselling ability to actually resell it, um, which is different than the affiliate thing. So, uh, we'll get into it more as we discuss it, but I just wanted to find out who out there is interested so we can sort of start having, you know, some discussions and see what your, you know, what your drivers are and what you think uh, could be helpful uh, for you in that whole process uh, as this thing gets fine tuned, because obviously we can't like build it and have it perfect and then go look for people. We have to look for people now um, that would be interested in being partners and affiliates. So uh, we're at that stage. We see we see the finish line on a lot of this stuff. So I'm really really excited about it. Uh, Mass website builder is going to be a beast uh, for sure, and ImageFly is going to be probably one of our our hottest products so far. So um, really really interested in um, and we're getting this together for everybody. Sounds good. Dad. What's the best way for people to get in touch with you? What's the sort of contact if you want to talk about? A partnering with you or being an affiliate what's the best routes in yeah so if you go to daryl.chat um that's one way to start the conversation um d-a-r-y-l dot chat let's get that up here on here um if you can put that in the the chat thing I'm yeah i'll do that i'll work it out yeah daryl .chat, okay. there you go mm -hmm. daryl.chat thank you and um or in the school community so if you take a look here's the school community school.com slash mass page and you can just go ahead and click on my name and then go to chat within that and you can start a chat i can't start a chat with me because i'm me but uh yeah so that's what you can do there so if you're interested at all just reach out to me in the school community or also on daryl.chat and we can start having a one-on-one -on -one discussion about uh, you know the affiliate program, how that's going to work, and also this reseller partner program that uh, we'd like to have it uh, getting going for people very soon. All right. While we're in the school community, I wanted to take a little bit of time to um, talk about a couple things that have come through. Of course, Don is our moderator he sent out that uh sunday live was on and i just put a little comment on here to uh, put the link to the show so these are the types of things that um that are nice like it says sunday live is happening now so these are the nice things that are happening inside the mass page community and there's some great questions that are coming up so colin asked a question um you know about this uh mentor page i believe 
Um, maybe it wasn't hmm. Enterprise. It was something that uh, Simon was yeah, working it was in, on. Yeah, it was, it was uh, one of the um, test campaigns I'd done about um, puppy training. I talked about it, I think it was maybe last week or the week before, and mm -hmm. he was just asking, um, will a question page like this rank for local search? And I was just basically saying, yeah, I think for this particular question, how to train a Pomeranian puppy or something like that. Um, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily match that up with a location page. It's just too specific. You'd, you'd have that just mm -hmm. more generic. But it was really just to show that you can add the question next to the location. And some of them work very well. Like you know, can you find puppy training in a location? Might be a good one. But some of the other things, you know, how to stop a dog barking in Leeds or New York might not be as relevant. But um, but yeah, that was just a question about that. But it's great to get these questions because we can we can get into more detail in the group or we can come up on the show and talk about it a bit more as well. So so yeah, that was that was just a demo I'd uh, I'd done recently. So what's interesting also about this is you know yes, it might not be the search phrase that you're going to look for um, with regard to training in a particular area because people wouldn't necessarily search mm. for that. But when you have like spin text and you have different variations within the page, mm. just calling the page a different way allows for that spin text to kind of show up differently, which could give you definitely uh, a potential other hook in the water, right? With Google to sort of show your, your page. However, here's the problem. If you do too many of those, Right, mm. you end up sort of watering down your mm. whole power of the uh, main keyword. So, um, uh, how do you feel about that? Because I've seen that in the in the wild, really, where mm. you know too many similar pages start to water down the uh, the overall power of, let's say, your H one tag. Yeah, I mean, if, if there are p people are typing in how to train a Boykin spaniel puppy, because I use SEMrush to get those questions, and I got tens of thousands of them. Mm -hmm. Chose the easiest ones and added them in. So someone somewhere, uh, and this is more than just one, because I chose a, a volume threshold, is typing that in. And obviously, across the world, you're going to get enough to get some volume. They aren't pretty much probably going to be typing it in for Michigan. And I think the problem is if you have multiple ones with the locations on, Google's going to be unsure which is the right page to to index. And you can see that all the time with people, you know, Google flips from one page to another to another and it gets a bit uh, confused. So um, I think on that one, I would just, just have the regular thing. But um, I'm doing um, a skip hire uh, campaign at the moment. And I think that's where it would work very well. So I know that skip hire, uh, skips like waste management, those big, like dumpsters, yeah dumpsters and um in the uk people are searching for the different sizes and there's 10, 12 10 15 different sizes of skips and then there's obviously the locations and i think when you do that you match up the size and, and the niche and the location that can work very well indeed and i know there's hundreds of thousands of searches so if i do do a skip you know two yard skip higher in leads that's that's where i think that technique would come in very handy not necessarily training or you can span your puppies. So I think you've just got to choose your choose your strategy on it. And maybe for those kind of questions, it's less appropriate. But for local SEO, getting all the perm permutations with a few different variables to make sure each H1 is unique. So I've done a, a skip hire campaign. I've got 12,000 unique hate headings, H1s, because mm -hmm. I've used those different permutations. So there's no duplication from Google's perspective because every single page is unique. And that's where I think it works quite quite well. But yeah, less so for that one. But I think it's, good, it's a good question. Yeah, and Colin asks uh, another question about naming a business. Um, the 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 root name of the business is SEO Soft, and obviously SEOsoft.com wasn't available. He was asking in the group about .tech and .digital TLDs um, for for his you know uh, opportunity here, or could it be a .biz is also a contender? Now .biz has been around a lot longer, so you'll have probably more people that know .biz um versus dot tech and dot digital i have a hard time with those other ones with a business name unless it's like you know um unless it's like seo tech is the company and you get seo dot tech yeah that would be cool it spans yeah. the dot then it makes sense a little bit more like um i have ledger digital so i have mm -hmm. uh, ledger dot digital mm -hmm. to just sort of sh shorten that down i don't use it as my main domain but i like to, i want to make sure that i have that so when it spans the dot with these longer ones that i like you know when it's uh, some brand that's hard to remember plus an extension that's hard to remember mm -hmm. i have a hard time from a branding perspective um, with that. So um, yeah. I'd almost rather have something that 
you know, was um, just, uh, you know, something else that's .com or .net that's very much persuasive, you know, or, or pervasive mm. and, and make sure that the name, you know, maybe you work on the name a little bit. I don't know. Um, or, or purchase a domain. Like I'll, I'll spend a couple thousand dollars on a domain um, that, that matches up with the brand I want, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I, I think that. I mean, I, I think the, the view is, and I'd agree with it, that it, it's not going to help hurt from an SEO point of view. I think it's more to do with, with click-through, isn't it? So if, if the, mm -hmm. the domain name looks a bit funky, a little bit odd, maybe mm -hmm. people are going to trust it less if it looks a bit more a bit spammy because some of the domain names that people add on, it makes it just look a little bit odd. I mean, obviously, everyone knows .com. And, and I think .ai. .ai, yeah. People .ios and .ais yeah. and things like that. Like, certain ones break through. Like, yeah. they're already breaking through with people. Yeah, I've seen people, you, I've seen quite a few kind of digital marketing agencies are starting to use .digital. You know, like you see, you've seen people mm -hmm. with those. But, um, yeah, I think it's it's got to look credible not not sort of spammy i mean I, the dot biz ones i don't know you maybe have a different opinion of them than i do daryl but i always thought they were a bit like kind of like a, a hobby business that somebody just set something <laughs> up in the, in the back room yeah and dot biz was a bit kind of cheesy kind of a yeah it's you know it is it is the cheesy .com. simon shop dot biz it, it just <laughs> just didn't sound quite right i mean i think if i was going to go for i'd go for, i'd go for digital and tech before i went for biz I, I think probably i think it just sounds a bit and it has been around for a long time but i don't think many big businesses i've never seen them using dot biz have you seems a bit um not really yeah? no, I, no it's sort of like that um uh... Hey, you your, know, school, your school messaging's on the screen here, Daryl. Yeah, I know. I'm doing that on purpose. It's, oh, yeah, it's okay. common. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Don't so. want to be seeing behind yeah. the scenes uh, the yeah. deals you, that you're no, doing. You no, know? no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's – I just showed everybody. how This is how you use school. You could just make yeah, a little cool. comment. Um, but, yeah, I want to get to his question here also. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I think that Dot Biz is sort of a ugly stepbrother, mm, cousin yeah, of the yeah. – uh, dot com everybody thinks dot com is commercial dot biz was supposed to be an alternative but it never really caught on just no. like dot cc never really caught on a lot of people were like oh dot cc that's gonna be great um you so see a few dot co's around don't you i mean yeah dot, dot, dot co's are terrible to be honest um, yeah you don't like those people when they see them they think you made a typo and they think yeah. that you meant dot com yes uh so that's why i'm to not yeah, yeah 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 dot co's are terrible um but yeah, now uh, Farouk Hassan was saying uh, he was interested in how to sell domains for 10x, uh, 100x the price. If there's any training or strategies that uh, will, will help uh, him to uh, implement that. Now, imagine that you bought a domain for eight boxes. Would I buy a lot of the domains that I find through Domain Kicks uh, for eight bucks and you sell it for 80 bucks, right? I don't really sell any domains for 80 bucks. You know, all of my domains I sell for 800 bucks uh, plus. Um, so I don't know what that, that's a hundred X. So hundred X, right? isn't it? Yeah. 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 Because the thing is you got to hold on to those domains until they sell and some may never sell. Right. So it depends. See, the thing is, is with any kind of, you know, asset, like a domain, an intangible asset, you have to either wait it out until, you know, more and more dot coms are harder to get to. Right. Um, but if you're looking for a short term, like feed the family and pay the rent kind of money, um, maybe selling domains, you have to either get very active with it. In other words, you reach out to people and you try to find people to buy it. But when you do that, expect that they're not going to pay as much as if they came to you and said, hey, I want this domain. I want to buy this thing from you, right? When they come find you and it's a domain brand that they're trying to go for, then you can obviously get more money from it. So um, so I'll have um, like a, a sort of a training, I think, coming up one of these weekends where we could talk about different techniques on which you can sell actively and passively in the best possible way. Uh, and how to price your domains so that way you're getting a regular frequency of sales. Um, so we, we can talk a little bit about that. But um, everybody has to kind of pick what they're comfortable as far as getting. Um, I know that there are some people that will buy domains for 8 bucks and flip them for 10x uh, and just go for that low dollar amount but high frequency. But mm -hmm. to me, that's a lot of activity that you have to do in order to uh, make an extra $70. Um mm -hmm. 
I don't know what you, what are your thoughts there, Simon? Well, I mean, yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not a domain investor. I bought a few and I've sold a few, but nothing nothing more than that. But um, yeah, I think the uh, it doesn't feel like a very good thing just for short term because I think you you may well be able to flip some, but you're going to end up with a big mountain. I would have thought of things mm-hmm. that you don't flip in in a month. And I think if cash flow to pay your bills and feed your families, I think you said earlier on, Daryl, mm-hmm. there's probably safer ways that you could do that. Without having to buy, buy like something. a job, <laughs> yeah, like a real, like, <laughs> like a real a job. job, or, or like yeah. you know, working on Fiverr or legit or yeah, content yeah. writing or or web design or you know, there's probably easier things you can do because yeah. you know you could you could buy you know five hundred dollars worth of domains, but you're going to have to flip you know quite a few to start breaking even, and then you've got a big load, and then you've also got a mountain of them that what happens after twelve months if you've not flipped them? Do you you know you, you could have quite a few over there? So yeah. But, um, yeah, probably not a short-term thing, but a very interesting long-term thing, I think, yeah. We got three trophies to give out today. Uh, one is for F- Falam Stenov. And uh, for third place, Marcel Christie for second place. And good old Colin Kinsella Colin. came in first place with the leaderboard this week on top of uh, our Mass Page uh, school platform. So what's the leaderboard mean? How, how do people get these prizes, uh, Daryl? So, they don't get a prize; they just get the leaderboard. <laughs> they get um, the the, the but, uh, accreditation. Yeah. The, yes, the, it's yeah. just like by participating, like yeah. commenting, liking, all of that kind of stuff. It just measures your your con, you know, how your activity how you engagement. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Oh, that's and great. so you can yeah, see yeah. the people in the last thirty days. You can see the people all time that have spent the most time in here. And then the nice thing is you can message them. See, so you can just hit chat. We can. You can have a conversation. You can talk to Marcel. You know, you can talk to all these different people um, as well. So um, it's it's a nice little community and a nice way for you to get involved. Uh, ask your questions. Colin's a model, uh, you know, community member. By asking these questions, it gives us something to talk about inside the group, and I, I really appreciate that. And you can even see his daily activity. I don't know if you guys see that though. I think this is an admin thing, um, but yeah. I can see his. Uh, how much he's logging in and things like that. So, all right. Um, as far as uh, lifetime, I haven't taken this down because I'm expecting to launch soon. So this is a pre launch deal um, that if you go into here at the top, uh, you can get this lifetime before the price goes up. So I, I wanted to give people a last chance because I, I don't want to you know raise the price without giving you a, a last chance at it. Um, before everything is all buttoned up and stuff. But this will go up the, the $29.97 lifetime. Won't be offered throughout the year as often. And uh, we do have a six payment plan that you can get um, as well if you could, couldn't do the whole amount right away. Um, and then you get all the all of the stuff in, uh, from the um, enterprise plan. So uh, that includes Mass Website Builder that's coming out and ImageFly. So um, it'll be really cool to uh, get that. Now, some of the things with ImageFly I wanted to show today, but uh, they're still working on it. We got a couple of uh, gremlins in there while I was testing it. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to test it today uh, because of that. So we're going to go straight to uh, talking about the uh, domains that are up for grabs this week. And we will uh, find out what they're worth all right, so if you guys want to put in your name, we'll put it into the wheel of names, and uh, we'll take a look and uh, put you in here. So I'm going to go to name worth, and uh, see, I have not run these, so I don't know what they're worth. We don't know this. This is where Daryl think realizes he's given away a twenty thousand dollar domain. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they, is... you generally don't know this. This is just like you've chosen some of you, your 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 portfolio. You're putting it out there. I also think this is great. It's very exciting. Who knows what you're going to get? I mean, you, <laughs> you know, never you, know. You, you get like a thing. I mean, it's, it's certainly worth more than ten dollars. Uh, so everyone's a, a winner when you get these. So. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> if anybody wants to know where I get these domains, uh, I built a software that helps you to do the same thing. Uh, it's called Domain Kicks. And so, if you want to throw up the GoDaddy yeah, I'll do that. Domain Kicks, yeah, that'd I'll be great. That. Ooh, boy, look at this! Accountancy twenty nine thousand five hundred dollars. Cafe Web's nineteen thousand five hundred dollars. I told you, accountancy. I told yeah. you. I hundred yeah. percent told you. <laughs> wow, it's a thirty thousand tier two. Bridal show ticks under five hundred and roofer yeah. deals. Okay, now let's look at uh, Estabot because that's that's too high. <clears throat> yeah, no, no, yeah, but but accountancy. I don't know. I like that one because people will mistype it and it will send direct traffic 
to your mm-hmm. to your site. Uh, I think that's that's a good one. I know Google doesn't misspellings. It it, it kind of gets past it. When you've got the dot com at the end, people will type in and just misspell it. You know. Ooh, accountancy. Wow, two point nine k on Esteban. Mm-hmm. Okay, I changed my mind, um, guys. Yeah. I'm not going to sell this one. Uh, <laughs> right, I'll show ticks. Uh, cafe webs and roofer deals. So, yeah, roofers deals. There's an. I did. There. I did tell you, Daryl. We did. We did. We warned you. You have a good eye. You have a good I, eye for well, domains. I don't. Well, I don't really. But I, I just saw that one. I thought, oh, that that. You know, I just see two point nine k. This is maybe this is worth more than any other domain that I've given that away ever, this yes. year. Yeah. Maybe ever. Yeah. I think that I think this is a high a high or a low point depending on what your your accountant says, Daryl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've, I've 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 looked at my account and they say, "Don't, Daryl, stop doing the giveaways. Don't give away uh, <laughs> domains that are worth multiple thousands of pounds uh, or dollars, rather. Don't do it." That's anyway, okay. it's all part of it's all part of the fun and the the community right. that we have here on the show. So, and hey, we've got some names coming in, which is uh, which is great. Yeah, you everybody's like, I want a piece of that. I I would be really surprised if people don't take that one. <laughs> you, you don't oh, wow. know. People might have other. You know, people might be in roofing. I know we've got some roofer roofing lead gen amongst yeah. us, so that's all good. Um, oh, let's see. Some people probably want to put their name in a couple times. Just whilst you're you're picking up on that, I just want to remind people that I do my Monday coaching group. So a little bit of a mention of that. So uh, tomorrow we'll be talking about mass page building. I tend to choose a different topic each week. So we'll do you know Google business profiles. Mm-hmm. We'll talk about local SEO. We'll talk about automation, AI content. Tomorrow we're going to talk about mass page building. I've been working on a Menterprise um, Webflow template. I did a bit of uh, talked a little bit about Menterprise last week and the ability for Menterprise now to take on a full web website template, which is pretty cool. So uh, I'm going to be sharing that with my group tomorrow, just to talk through how I've made it and how I've built it. So if you want to uh, join the coaching group, it's only seventeen pounds a month, and uh, the um, link here. I'm just going to. Uh, show it in a second you can uh, join through there so it's go to ht slash simon coach and uh eight o'clock on monday uh uk time three o'clock est and uh we record the, the session so you can always wind them back as well so that's just my little plug whilst uh, you're uh, lining up the names very very good cool uh al couch says great selection today mm. good good got uh, yeah Wawu MW. I don't know what Wawu MW means. Uh, if you want to put your name in there, that would be fine. Wahoo, um, but I don't know MW, what MW means. Know. Yeah. Yeah. Carrick T. You can put a first name and a surname, but we're just we're keen to make sure we know people are at uh, least initial. Bot bots. Last name. <laughs> we don't have any bots yeah. entering. We, we, we had a, right. a flurry of bots a number of months ago. We had to block a number of them. We had to sort of Russian yeah. speakers and all sorts of people coming in or yeah. bots rather. So yeah. Don, Don's not on the left list. Come on, Daryl. Who? Don? Yeah, remember Don? Don S? <laughs> He's, He's not, not on not, here. <laughs> not on the list. Oh my God. Okay. Can't do that. Uh, Mabel W. Did you get... Um, yeah, got Tariq T. Okay, just remember, guys, you have to uh, prove that you're real. <laughs> That's yeah. something I do we don't. Yeah, we don't do any automation we, yet. We have a lot of people we kind of know who they are here, so um, it, you know that's the important thing. Are you putting right. nice and end down, nicey knee? They uh... yeah, I did. I thought I did, but maybe I took no, it out. Are you putting nice a bilia? Nice and n. Oh yeah, okay. so yeah. Look at this wheel of Just... names getting out of control it's here. Good. Yeah, good listening. So let's now. go back to what these are worth. Here are the four domains: accountancy. Super premium at twenty nine thousand five hundred. Super uh, bridal show ticks, five thousand or five hundred. Uh, Cafe webs I've actually had on mm. um, brand pa, and that's valued at nineteen thousand five hundred. And roofers deals at five hundred. If you like the domains that I'm coming up with, get yourself into go.ht slash domain kicks. Is that what it is? I'll put it up. There we go. Yep. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, kicks. Go to DC slash kicks. Um, and uh, we'll get you there. Okay, so we're back to the wheel of names. Your Jorge. Let's yeah, see. Jorge. All right. 
and anybody else. <laughs> We're a little bit before the hour, Daryl. I mean, in that, I mean, obviously, we might catch people out that only come into the last few minutes to enter the yeah. 20, that's right. 20, we'll stall. 20, we'll stall 20, a little bit. Twenty dollar giveaway. Um, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, we might want to be, to be fair because I know we can uh, stall some, a little bit. Some people. Uh, uh, let's go check it on. with. Let's go check it with another um, tool. <laughs> what do you say? We'll just okay. check a, take a look and see because it's always good to kind of see what these different tools do mm -hmm. with these things. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go with GoDaddy. So yeah. 2,003, dollars See, that's a high GoDaddy amount. Um, cafe web yeah. was 1190 accountancy, 2,003 roofers deals, 1113 and bridal mm. show ticks 1130. And then let's look at free evaluator. Uh, that's another one I haven't used. We're just kind of stalling for some time, but I just want to see if we um, check these here. Let's have a look, yeah. Of course, we'd, we'd normally have lifetime deal of the week. It's probably worth just mentioning that, actually, because Daryl and I are so busy on things at the moment, and I haven't bought uh, as many lifetime deals as I normally do, which is probably a good thing, to be honest, uh, from, my, from my accountant's point of view. <laughs> I just like Daryl and his domains. But um, uh, that will be back. When we, when we find a good one that we're using and we're happy to recommend, we'll, we'll bring it back. But um, we don't want to get locked into just each week both buying a domain, about buying um, uh, a lifetime deal for the sake of it, and also recommending something that might not be something we actually genuinely use. So that's just to explain that we're, we don't do it, but we'll, LTD of the week will be, will be back. I know it was one of the, the high points of the show. So <laughs> we'll oh, it's, it, it's, oh, yeah. uh, it's your high point, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's see here. Uh, busy, so it's doing its thing. If you guys have any questions, shoot your questions up here because we'll answer your questions mm -hmm. right after we do the domain giveaway uh of here and i'll look at another one pc i'm interested in see what pc.domains does because this is supposedly ai and let's see what it thinks of accountancy i don't have a paid it won't, program it won't know what to make of it uh, accountancy.com actually is for sale it's on godaddy i just looked yep. it up so it's 100 yeah accountancy is mine that's why no, no, but, but the real one, accountancy. I think oh, how much is that set? set well, I, I, I think it just says it's for sale. It doesn't say which one, but I mean, I'm surprised that's not been taken up. I mean, it's going to be oh. valuable, isn't it? But um, it yeah, says it's registered. Says yeah. Yeah. See, so this says it's less than 100. So every everybody has their own opinion. I mean, we we've tried actually to build an AI that does this, and we haven't found it yet. I mean, I, yeah. I, I can't. Tough, I, isn't it's it? tough. Yeah. Human. I mean, even humans have a hard time uh, evaluating what a domain is worth. So. You're building a lot of other stuff, Daryl. So I think we can let you off for not having worked that one out. You know, Fousey A. Um, you already have one. Let's see this one right here. Fousey A dollar sign dollar sign. I don't no, know, I don't know that what that one. means. Um, well, all right. Just, so yeah, here keep, we go. Keep in the we... first entry and we'll see what happens. Yeah. yeah. So here we are at six o'clock. I think we're almost there. So we'll go ahead and one last chance for you to put in your name for the domain giveaway uh, for today's Sunday Live. We have roofersdeals.com, cafewebs.com, bridalshowticks.com, and accountancy. Um, we'll just put this up here mm -hmm. so that you guys can see that nice and clear, even on your mobile devices. So make sure we can see that on here for you. And thanks again for watching our Sunday Live here on YouTube and on all the other uh, networks that we are on. Uh, we're even on LinkedIn. We're on Twitch. Uh, so many different Twitter. places. Facebook. I'm, my Twitch Twitter. Twitter. Well, yeah. Yep, Twitter. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We're going to go back to the Wheel of Names. I think that's it, right? I think that's everybody that's going to be in. Yeah, let's and go. And time to spin the wheel. Let's see who's going to get one of these big domains and uh, <laughs> see who's going to rob Daryl today. Oh, oh. Nabila M. Nabila yeah. M. Nice. All right. I don't know well Nabila very well, so you're going to have to authenticate uh, with me offline. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Nabila, did you say which domain that you wanted to have uh, in transferred to your GoDaddy account? Um, we only transferred to GoDaddy. So if you go here, you go to accountancy.com, 
bridalshowticks.com, cafewebs.com, rooferdeals.com. What do you think would be your domain that you would love to get? Congratulations. A lot of getting a lot of love there. <laughs> nice job. Go for the big daddy, they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but, but also a uh, shame David nearly won it there, didn't I? It just ticked past uh, David's name. So that's yes, uh, poor that's Dave. Yeah, sorry about that, Dave. Maybe next Dave. time. But yeah. he's a good sport. See, so he's saying congrats. Yeah, true. So, yeah, congrats. Nice. So, yeah, we, well, we'll see um, what you want. If uh, Nabila, uh, what I would love to have you do is contact me at daryl.chat. Cause I don't know you personally. So uh, reach out to me at daryl.chat and uh, we'll say get hello. Yeah. you uh, just say hello and we'll figure out what, what's going to happen as far as uh, getting this over to you. So, all right. Anybody else? Let's see here. Tim judge, even in the house saying congrats. Yeah. Tim judge James. is a classic. Sunday live host or guest. Oh, look, there's Nabila. Very happy. Thank That's you. Great. So happy. Awesome. And she's got a cat picture on on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So, all right, very good. So we'll we'll have Nabila reach out to me at Daryl Chat. Let's go ahead and put that back on there so she can see. Um, what do? I'll do we... that. Yeah. Yep. And we'll get rid of that. Um, go to Daryl Chat. And uh, we'll go ahead and take a look and see if you have the right uh, kind of account with GoDaddy. We'll send it right over to you and um, we'll go from there. All right, guys. And I didn't see any questions come in. Last chance for questions if you have for us today on today's program, Sunday Live. Again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in and being a part of the uh, program tonight. And uh, you never know what we're going to give away here. You never know what's going to happen. Never. So. I think sometimes you don't know, Daryl. You have to check yeah. the value of it. So well, I, would, I had a hunch I checked that a while ago, but I was just like, let's just let this one Living go. danger. Let's and the battery that. held up as well. So that was, that yeah. was another bit of fun. So, yeah. Yeah. So, always living in the danger zone, must be. So. That's it. Yeah. Uh, folks, in, in last, like I said, if you guys uh, want to reach out to me about being a partner um, on and sort of reselling uh, software from our company, reach out to me. If you just want to be an affiliate, just send out the link and sell it. You get There's a, a lower amount that you would get, but uh, you can definitely do that. Uh, if you want to take advantage of the uh, lifetime deal that we currently have set, there's a payment plan or you can pay the one-time price. And if you're you know, having any kind of difficulty, but you really, really want it, uh, reach out to me directly, daryl.chat, and we can have a conversation about that. Um, but I always like to, the reason why I'm doing this now is I have this experience that the people that support it before it's 100%, they're believing in me and they're believing in the work that I'm doing. And that we've been showing transparently what's going on behind the scenes. You've seen what MS website builder is on the, the new version. You've seen, uh, you know, image fly. So to me, if you're willing to say, okay, I'm going to get involved while it's, it's cheap. It's like when you start up with a lifetime deal before it has all the super features and you get in early and then they add in all these different features and they support the heck out of it. And that's kind of the way I am. I'm going to support the heck out of it and keep putting more into it. So um, the developers and all the work that we're putting into, we're at a loss. You know, this stuff is not free. This stuff costs money. So I have to say, to say, okay, look, I don't take on investors at this stage. We don't have people that invest um, financially into our company uh, for equity. But I can say, hey, look, you know, be a partner with us. Hey, look, uh, be, you know, buy a lifetime plan. Uh, if that's something that you're able to do um, and before the price goes up, right? I'm going to say that because, look, I'm looking out for the fact that the people that are loyal, right, are, to me, that's the greatest thing. People that are, like, loyal from the beginning and watching the whole journey, watching all of the work that we're doing, going from, you know, from the beginning days, the, just the form to what we have now. It's, it, it's unbelievable what we've done since the beginning of the very first days of the form, uh, the magic form. So um, 
you know, it's been an, a fun journey. It's not a free journey. It costs money to do these kinds of things. And for all those that have purchased uh, and continue to, to be a, a part and support it, I thank you from the bottom of my heart because it allows me to work on these kinds of things um, before, you know, this, this is all polished off and all. Imagine like being at the early stages of Adobe, right? When they just start out with two or three programs and it's just like getting, getting started. That's where I'm going with this. I want this to be so polished and so clean and so great that you can, you know, sign up, get yourself going with a website and, you know, minute of a few hours at the most and be able to rinse and repeat and get leads and to uh, dominate organically. If, if, you know, that's where this is headed. So, uh, you know, if we can make that happen, how many businesses will want what we're building? How many businesses? So many will want to have that. Um, so just a question there from James. Out. Yeah, just coming in through uh, Daryl. Yep, definitely uh, to reach out because um, we're, we're sort of ironing out the details. So I'm not going to disclose that publicly right now. But reach out to me because the thing is, is that uh, the partnership uh, is is there's a higher bar for you uh, with with a partnership. It's not just an affiliate where you throw out the link. There's a little bit more involved in that. So um, I, we, we want people that want to grow with us and to be able to see what's happening before it's there, because those are the people that I want to take along the way. And so that's why I, 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 I was, I'm waving the flag right now and saying, hey, look, if you want to come along, come along now. I, I, you know, this is this is it. And it, it is a journey that we've been on with this mass page. And uh, you guys that spend the time with us on these Sundays and on the recordings and all that, you're what's making this possible every week. You're the one that, you know, uh, makes me go into loss to spend money for the software because I care about this. I care about people succeeding with mass page and SEO and all of this image stuff and the domains. I care about it. As you can tell, I do care about it. So it's important uh, that uh, I bring along people that are, you know, interested in getting started from the ground floor before it gets much bigger. And I see it like I'm looking at June 15th. That's my little deadline to have this thing 100% buttoned down. Uh, so we have a little bit of time to go. But uh, like I said, I'm waving the flag saying, here we go. We're, we're, we're lining up everybody now. So uh, if you want to get involved, reach out to me. And that's all I, I have on that there for today. But Simon, thank you so much for being a part of this. So you're muted. I'm saying sounds yeah. good, Daryl. Sounds good. I was saying in the background there, but uh, <laughs> yeah, great to be great to uh, see you on the show. A, a pleasure as always, and great to have everyone's uh, comments and interaction. We always like to see that. So yeah, thanks uh, everyone, and we'll see you next uh, same time next week. Awesome guys, thank you. Take care. Bye bye now. Bye.